Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode 44. Who cares? Right, look. This is it. This is the deal. We win one of our last two games. We are promoted. Interestingly, Fulham just did lose their game in hand. So we can still win the league, potentially, but I couldn't at the moment couldn't give a shit. <clears throat> we are four points ahead of Leeds, uh, ahead of Leeds, uh, ahead of Blackburn. So we need a win. Simple as that. Just need a win out of the two. We've got two tricky games. Um, the bad news is Tuba Akpom is not back from injury. The good news is he probably will be for the next game. Um, the only changes we're making is Ichikawa's coming back in for Jan Veer. Um, and Danny Bart's coming back in for Uber Meccano. Everything else is staying the same. We are going again. Let's do this. Let's fuck shit up. Yeah? Oh, I feel so sick. Swindon aren't a bad side, but they're having a poor run. Okay, I like that. So are we. Welcome to our world. Just enough. Just enough quality. All right, come on, Cummings. Please. Please, I will give you £50,000 out of our non-existent bank account. Alright, we want a calm. You've got what it takes. A bit of calm. You've got what it takes. I might... What should we go for Cummings? Should we try pressure off for Cummings? Let's try it. Nothing happened. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Please, for the love of God, let's see the get the Blackburn. Are they playing today? Yes, they are. This is a tricky game for the uh, Sheffield United, a fourth. So, a tricky game for them as well. Fulham aren't playing, it looks like. No. So, it's all about Blackburn. So, we'll keep that up in the corner. <clears throat> okay. Okay, where the fuck is the ball gone? Mike right, Pedersen. Scowen. Dinks it forward. You've got that easy. Deal with it. Deal with it. Nice. Timothy. Sorted. Free header for Dallas. Maitland Niles. Ah, that's a poor. That's just hopeful. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. Sadie. Oh, that's a dreadful touch. Oh, don't mess about. That's better. Go on, Corey, run with it. You've got space. Go. Go. Keep going. Now pass it. Goodish. Lucky, but good. Interesting ball back. Interesting one, too, there. Go on. Cummings plays it out wide to Taylor. Great ball in. No, it didn't clear the first man. Correa, come on. Oh, saved by Ripley. Correa with the corner. Eight minutes. Ball in. Blackburn. What's the Blackburn? Nil nil. Okay. I don't think yeah, if they draw and we draw, we're we're definitely up. That would also work. If they lose and we draw, I don't think we're quite there. I could be wrong, but let's just go with that. Let's just fucking win it. Let's just say it doesn't matter. Let's win this. Please, please. I've just got to pleading now at this stage. Taylor with the throne from the left hand side. Ichikawa been solid all season. Maitland Niles. Correa. Hopeful ball up top. That was just dreadful ball. Uh, uh, Ripley taking it forward. Is he gonna hoof one? Looks like it. He has. We're gonna win them all day. Bath and Maguire, solid centre backs in the air. Cummings, a lot to do. Play it simple. Maitland Niles. Dinks it over the top. Taylor. To Correa, it's a good build up play. Ichikawa, lovely ball out to Taylor, he's going to get there. First time in, Cummings, chest it down. Oh, he should have volleyed it first time, man. Ah, it's a corner. Are we going to play it short here, possibly? Nope, we're going to play it into the penalty box. We're going to win that, though. Danny Bath, easy save. Couldn't get enough oomph on that header. Playing well, though, playing better. Okay, throw in. Scott Wooten plays it back to Ripley, the goalkeeper. Another long hoof. We can see their tactic. They've won that though. Pedersen plays it back to Sadie. 
Oh, Maguire misses the tackle. Ishmael. Danny Bath wins that header. Well done, Danny Bath. Bangura. Gets forced back to... Is that Wes Morgan? B. Williams. <laughs> okay. Reach. Williams. Tackle him. Tackle him. Good tackle, Josh. Good tackle. Lovely ball out. Play it first time. He has. And again, lovely breakaway. Ah, oh, bad first touch, but he's still got it. Go on, Taylor. Ichikawa. Correa. Maitland-Niles. Correa sent wide. He's got it back, though. Plays it back to Taylor. Lovely ball here. Maitland-Niles. Yes! Yes! Maitland-Niles. Get in there, son. Get in there. Yes! Been playing well. Let's have a Blackburn a 2 0 up already. Okay. Who cares? We're going to win this fucking match. Let's minimise it. We don't care about that. Let's just sort ourselves out. Come on. <laughs> Please. Playing really well this game. Okay, so throw in to Swindon. It's Swindon, isn't it? Lost me badges. Right, Cummings going to break. Oh, that's a bad tackle, Red. That's right from behind. That's through him. Shit. Hewitt plays it across. Pedersen saved by Timothy Krull. Get in there, Tim. Ah, corner ball. Okay, it's over. No worries, no worries. All good. Just get it to half time. One minute play. Cummings is injured. That's not really a bad thing. No offence, Cummings. Sorry. So we're going to go for Bobby Rhodes up front. We're going to switch Corey out to a position which he really hates. But, you know, life's a bitch. This formation works better with a complete forward. So you're going to have to suck it up. Maitland-Niles. Uh, no, it's going to be half-time, isn't it? Please be half-time, Half time. Hello, Mr. Referee. Oh, shit and shit, shit. Fuck me. Jesus. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Can we have a second goal, please? Please, can we have a second goal? Oh, he's done him for fun. He has done him for fun. Good header, Bath. That's the spirit. Ah, that's hopeful. Right, come on. Throw in for Swindon. Deep in their area. Get it out to Ishmael. I think he's been linked with young player of the season, Ishmael. So he's obviously a good player. Scowan to Hewitt. Space on the right hand side. Good through ball. It's Sadi. He's got a run on the keeper. Go on, Tim. Yes. Go oh, fucking hell. There's a couple of good chances already this half. Corner. Ishmael's going to take it. Near post. Flick on. Scrambled away. My mate Lenar's the goal scorer. Are we going to chase this? Chase it? Chase it? Oh, he's giving up. Let's just check the Blackburn result. Even though I said I wasn't care, but now they're playing a bit. Oh, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. Come on, United. United. <sighs> oh, don't get down to the last game. Please don't get down to the last game. Concentrate, concentrate. It's your cow's bit connected. We'll bring on the ambient. This is it. We've got 15 minutes and we're in the Premiership. Ten minutes, boys. Ten minutes. Just going to drop it to counter. Fuck. This could be. 
This could be the moment we've been waiting for for so long. Bring anyone on just to waste time. Come on. Blackman are still winning, so that doesn't matter. This is it. This is it. All the players are on the touchline. Three minutes of injury time between us and the Premiership. Just, I'm watching this time like a hawk. Quite, it's a throw in to Swindon. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Twenty seconds left. Just chase him back. Chase him back. Played forward. Headed down. Yamvia gets. Ah, oh, that looks. He's offside. Surely. Oh fuck me! Fucking hell! Surely this is it. This is it. This is it. Yes! We've done it. We've done it! <laughs> We've done it. We are in the Premiership. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, we made that difficult, didn't we? And we can still win the title. I don't care, I don't care, we can win the title. I'll worry about that next game. There it is. There it is, boys. Cummings is injured, nobody cares. Initial budgets, 10 million. I couldn't care less at this moment. There it is, boys. Unexpected promotion. And obviously he wants a new contract. Fucking hell, straight away, like, yeah, I'm a new contract. He's only 12. Is he, he going to want 25, isn't he? 28, wow. Wow. Okay, well that's going to be 10 million. And that is not going to be 28. I'll give you 18. It's got an 8 in it. Fairly promising start, okay. 20? Okay, that's fine. <sighs> we've done it, boys. Can't believe we've done it. Right, so we just need Fulham to lose their next game, please. <laughs> this guy keeps wanting to stay. I've been trying to sell him for ages. Uh, dee -dee -dee. We are promoted. <laughs> it's been emotional. <sighs> Can't believe it. <sighs> what? I felt like we almost bottled that. For those four draws and then that loss to Forest. That one's the killer. Like at the end of the day, it's one defeat in like fifteen. Yep, yep, yep. Maitland Niles, young player of the month, well done boy. He's had another great season for him. I wonder if I can tempt him. Now I'm in the premiership. He's been absolutely so He's worth 8.5 million, though, isn't he? That would be my entire. Even if I got him for that, which I won't, that would be my entire budget. Could be worth uh, another loan signing. They might let me have him again. Everybody's happy with training. I should have a look at Fulham one. They haven't played yet. Contracts to expire. I'll worry about the scouts and shit later on off off screen because that's boring as shit. Oh, I can't believe it. I feel so relieved. <laughs> it's been a long old journey. It's been forty what is it, forty four episodes of trying to get into the Premiership. And like I said, the finances are scared. Well, oh, fucking hell, they've just dropped again. Look at this. We are pissing money away, but it doesn't matter because we're in the Premiership. So that'll just disappear. We're making money. Wait, if the Fulham played yet? Yes, they have, and yes, they did win. Okay, so they need to lose. We need to win. They are playing Uddersfield, who are fifth. 
Well, they're guaranteed playoffs, aren't they? So that's not ideal. But they were a good teams, so that's good. Good. There's, there's a chance then. We're both playing good teams. There's a chance. Are you saying there's a chance? We got our palms back. The man, the myth, the legend. And we're going to play Bobby Rhodes. Give him a game, I think. Deserves it. Okay. Oh, oh, so good. I was so glad it's not coming to the last game. <sighs> no playoffs, guys. No playoffs. We've done it. We've only got it. Bloody done it. Don't care. Just don't care. Yeah, it'd be nice to win, but I don't care. Is it only us two playing today? Well, okay. Apparently they saved those two games for the one. Oh, so relieved. As I imagine a fifth season in the championship. I, I think the fifth season in the championship it wouldn't bother me so much. Right? You know, that's just one of those things. We were only expected to maybe scrape playoffs this season anyway. But the money situation would have probably meant I would have had to sold maybe Dallas, who's probably my most expensive asset. Probably Correo, I would have had to sell him on. Oh, Fulham are losing. Don't, I just don't care. Um, so those two would have had to go. Go on, Akpom. Show him the skills. Oh, lucky. Come on, we can win the league here, boys. That's a bloody trophy. Goal mode. Ah, oh, flick header from Dallas. Maitland Niles picks it up. Swings it in. Poor ball. Yeah, we would have had to made had a fire sale basically. I think. And raised maybe like fifteen million just to cover the expenses, just to get us out of the red. Get it away. Oh, Sheffield United have scored. But we don't care. And Fulham have equalised. We just don't care. We just don't care. Just fail to care. Because I just don't care. Oh, so good a feeling. Looking forward to next season. Do I think we're going to have the biggest budget? Yeah, let's talk about sort of what our plans are for next season. So we're not going to have the biggest budget. It looks like it's going to be around the 10 million mark, which is fair enough considering our debt. So we might only be able to bring in one or two players. And then maybe one or two loans. And maybe one or two freebies. Oh, Akpom, that's how you, that's how you be a striker, yeah? That's how you do it. Um, so I think our weak areas, I think goalkeeper we're perfectly fine, right? We've got a great goalkeeper for the next three or four years, that's fine. Left back we've got Taylor, I'm happy with him, he's he's not world beating but he's absolutely solid, definitely going to be first choice. Josh Vella I'm pretty happy with, although I might look maybe to give him, uh, buy someone that can challenge him. Um, centre backs, I'd probably I want one more. I'd probably lose one of them, probably Uber Meccano, and then bring in somebody else to challenge Maguire and Bath. Um, central midfield is a tricky one because a lot of our central midfielders, I just don't care. A lot of us, we've got three central midfielders that have played a lot of games that are all on loan. So I think we need to buy or loan a ball winning midfielder and then maybe one other. Um, wingers. We're pretty good on wingers. We've got Correa, 
um, unless we cash in on him, depending on how much, if it, if I can raise the money for him. If if I can sell him for like 10 million, I'll probably sell him, to be honest. Um, we've got Bobby Rhodes as the youngster. We've got Pritchard. We've got Dallas. Um, I think we're pretty covered there. Uh, up front, I think two rat poms perfectly good. I think he'll do really well. You know, he's just destroying this league at the moment. Um, and maybe so then I'd have to get one back up, maybe a youngster um, to back him up. So there's maybe four or five players there that we would set our sights on. I'm glad we got a good goalkeeper because I, I I find it difficult to find good goalkeepers. I find it a tricky position to fill. Like right, Fulham are drawing still, so it doesn't really matter what we do. Bashish Cow's not really done that well, to be honest. Um, but he's quite a versatile player, so I'll probably keep him for next season just as a squad rotation player. Go on. Ooh. Maitland Niles. Back pose, Danny but okay, good. But I think our pre most pressing matter will be central midfield because once we lose these loanies, we're very low on central midfielders. We have got um with Vel Morrison, who's obviously been injured for the last couple of months, but he's a really good central midfielder. He can also fill in at the inside forward positions. Um so a centre back and a central midfielder, a ball winning midfielder is probably. I think, especially for the Premiership, a quality ball winning midfielder would be, would be vital. So that's where, you know, depending on obviously the situation, most of the money will go. I think that's the most important position we need to fill. I'm not sure if we could get Rossiter I'm not sure if I he's, he's been solid without being spectacular I'm not sure if he's premiership quality that's a good ball um, yeah so I'm not I'm not quite sure we'd get him back even if we were able to I think he's a good championship player I don't know why the keepers go in the opposite direction of where the ball's going but okay <sighs> see look if it come down to this last game it could have all gone horribly wrong <laughs> Sheffield United are a good side there you go Kappa you can have some time because no actually you can't you annoyed me so you're just never going to play again for us Pritchard's decent. I think he'll be okay as a squad player in the Premiership. He's not. He's not going to be first choice. He's the guy we got from Tottenham who didn't quite make the grade. I'd like somebody like Andros Townsend. Somebody like that would be nice. Go on. Go on. What? Handball. Okay, we did lose, but nobody cares. Fulham drew anyway, so we couldn't have won the league. Bada 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 bam. Yeah, well done for them. Well done for them. Boo -da -boo. Nobody cares. So our top goal scorer was Stuart Dallas this season. Our highest rated player is Yuzuki Ichikawa, which is fantastic. Most assists, Josh Feller, our right back. Um, best com pass completion is Jordan Roster because that's uh, simply because he's his role is to win the ball back and then just give it simple. No, no spectacular passes. Most man of the what ma matches? Most man of the matches is uh, Ichikawa. Yellow cards, Vela and Rosta. I mean, didn't have a single red card this season. Look at that. Second highest goal scored, best defense in the league. Second highest attendance. That's not bad going, is it? And only ten million in debt. <laughs> Not bad for Leeds. Um, let's have a quick look at our transfer history this year. So Maitland Nars was absolutely solid. Omar we got on a free from Real Madrid, um, who we've sent out on loan. 
um, this season. Uh, he's a decent player. I think he can come back and be a squad player. Ichikawa's probably been our signing. It's 250 grand. Uh, I think he's absolutely been absolute quality. He's only 19 years old. Uh, ben Pearson, he was just signed as a backup. Um, he barely got a game. Uh, Jan Vier, absolutely solid season. 7.54 average. Four goals, one assist. Um, Maitland Niles got 10 goals, six assists. He did play all over the pitch because he's, he's versatile. He's played striker three times, right midfield, centre midfield, and inside forward. Um, Ichikawa's got four goals, four assists this season. Jordan Rossiter, I think he got one goal, six assists, which is pretty damn good. What's his tackles? Uh, okay, it doesn't show his tackling percentage. But he made 184 tackles, but who fucking knows if that's any good. Tim krull has been just solid as a rock for us. 7.01 average, which is fantastic for a goalkeeper. Anything above seven is good. Correa. Just a bit disappointing, really. Um, he's okay, but it was my big signing. I bought the wrong player. It's not his fault. I bought an attacking midfielder when I don't play an attacking midfielder because I thought I could change him but then I've farted about with his position so much played him a striker then played him as attacking midfielder then played him attacking midfielder left inside forward that that I never really got to fully retrain him in any of those position uh, but he did score 12 goals um, seven assists 10 goals in the league that's not too bad it's not like a failure but I think we maybe look to sell him Danny Bass been absolutely solid for us. 7.32, one goal, one assist. 46 games played, 40 in the league. Ravel Morrison didn't play quite as much. Had a couple of injuries, um, but still a solid player. Two goals, two assists. Needs to improve that in the next season, but really good average. He did play a lot of centre midfield as well, even though he can't tackle for shit. Uh, Liam Palmer, who was our backup right back, um, only played nine games in the league, but did all right when he played. Uh, Bashush Cow, this is a bit disappointing. I thought he's only 1.5 million. Um, played only 13 games in the league, two goals, averaging seven overall. Um, he'll be a fine squad player next season. Ricardo Kappa, obviously, we just bought him because he was a youngster. I'm just going to move him on just because he annoyed me after complaining about team talk in his debut. And then obviously Tuba Agpom, 15 games, 15 goals. That's how you do it, isn't it? That's how you do it. My signing this season would definitely be Ichikawa, just for the fact he cost me 250 grand. Um, let's have a quick look at the outs. So Lewis Cook was our big sale to fund a lot of this this season. He wanted to go. He only had a year contract left. Wouldn't sign a new one. He's now got seven caps for England. He's valued at 20 million. Um... We sold him for 8.7, which is actually pretty decent for only having one year left on his contract. Um, there's nobody else of note we really sold. Uh, Luongo went to Germany. Um, played a couple of games. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, Dwight Gale, because he was dreadful. Oh, he, he's done all right in League One. He's found his level. There we have it. I think that about sums up our season. We are in the Premiership. Can't believe I'm saying it. It only took four years, but we're there. Can you believe it? Who went down? West Ham, Leicester and QPR. So these teams we might be looking at um, to steal some players off them. Definitely. Especially the likes of West Ham. They're bound to have some good players. I'm going to scout all these players and... Uh, See if there's anybody worth stealing. Like El Shawari's playing for him. Ooh. He's only on fuck me. He's on 110 grand a week. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. They're going to have to sell him, aren't they? Because he's worth 23 million. He's not going to play in the championship. How do you get bloody relegated with El Shawari in your team? Aaron Cresswell, I'd love. But we were okay for left back. Jack Buttonand. I love, but we're okay for a goalkeeper. You got Payet. 
It's 32 now. It's getting on a little bit. It's still a lot. Can't spend all our budget on a 32 year old. Yeah. But yeah, so what I'll do now is um, I'll do I'll renew all the staff contracts, get all that boring shit done, and then we'll do the summer where I'll get uh, the transfer done, and then we'll come back for a big episode where we go through all the transfers, the ins, the outs, go through the friendly results, and uh, then get them on about getting Champions League spot. Yeah, next season Champions League. Yeah, sounds about right, doesn't it? Thank you so much for all your massive support over the four seasons of our championship struggle. Thank you for hanging in there. We're now in the Premiership. Let's see how badly that goes. I love you all very much. Please subscribe, like, comment. I love you all. Bye-bye.